and breathe. Welcome to episode 172 of Love at First Scent with me, Persilaise, coming to you in just about one piece with a major, major delay today, delay in the schedule time. It won't matter to you at all if you're watching the recording, but for those of you who've been um, patiently waiting for this to start. Some of you may be aware that I was having a few technical... Well, I tried to carry out a few technical tests um, before I started this broadcast, but they turned out to not be terribly successful, and so I very quickly had to um, what do whatever the, the equivalent is of a YouTube live stream jumping ship in the hope that I could quickly go over to the old way of doing things and bring you... Um, today's episode or episodes and somebody is saying perfect no lag now well this is all going to be if, if you are if you are watching the recording this is not going to mean anything to you at all because you will not know about what's just been happening but anyway here we are uh with episode 172 of love at first scent where we will be looking at uh one of these new releases here from loxitan and for those of you who are watching um uh, live I should tell you that I'm planning a few things for you today. So, so if if you've got time, stick around because we'll be. Um, the the plan is to cover four videos today, with the last one of the day um, marking the eleventh anniversary of the setting up of Persilaze.com, the start of Persilaze.com. The eleventh anniversary was actually yesterday, but we won't talk about that until we get to the last video. Lots and lots of comments comments coming through. I need to move this here. Pardon me. Um, oh, it's all happening here today, people. If only you could see what is just sort of happening outside the confines of the camera. Who gets the first comment? Eco Jock says waiting. Well, hopefully, hopefully you've managed to stick around. Uh, Good things are worth waiting for, says Lisbeth. That's very, very kind. Thank you very much. Uh, still slightly out of sync, says Rich Mitch. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Uh, everything sounds and looks perfect. I'll go with that one. A new Bionette says uh, hello as well. Um... Ponce Van Anne says, hello from Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Thank you very much for tuning in. Chang is here as well. Nick is here too. Hello from Michigan, US, says Joe. I heard L'Occitane is closing all over the world, says Watermelon Antique. My one closed just the other day. Ooh, I know that's news to me, news to me. Um, <laughs> and somebody's still trying to be funny, saying your 11th anniversary was yesterday, but the sound lagged by a day. Got it. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, why are we starting with these three? Um, a couple of reasons. Number one, I've been wanting to bring them to your attention for a little while. I've had these samples, I think maybe for about a month now or five weeks. But also, um, a few weeks ago, I did a video, an episode of Love at First Scent on another new release from L'Occitane, uh, their new Osmanthus scent. Uh, Hi from a snowy Warsaw, says Maria. Gosh, that's... It, I suppose it's not that unusual to have snow at the moment. So I did this video on Osmanthus. Not not a groundbreaking Osmanthus scent. It was perfectly pleasant, but it didn't get beyond pleasantness. And pleasantness. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is that YouTube, because I think YouTube just doesn't like me very much at all, YouTube completely gobbled up that video. It, it stuck around for a little while, and then and then suddenly, after a few days, there seemed to apparently be some issue with the upload, and that video is now gone. I forget which episode, which episode number of Love at First Scent it was. It was 160 something, maybe 167 or whatever, and now it it, it it's gone. Uh, which is fantastic, because if, if my videos start disappearing, then I'm not going to be a very happy Persilaise. So, L'Occitane are probably not even aware of the fact that that video is gone, but I sort of felt I owed it to the brand to do another one for them, because I thought it was really um, terrible that, that, that that video vanished. And these are probably worth your attention we're going to focus on one of them maybe on the two this uh, so the three masculines okay and they are uh, carité corset uh, bois flotté and olivier ondé um the 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 bois flotté is probably the one then that we can dismiss the the, the, the most easily uh it's a it's a blue bottle and uh in some perfume circles that is all you need to know because it is a blue bottle through and through um but the the carité corset i thought was worthy of your time your attention maybe partly because it is so difficult to find um 
masculines that aren't downright awful. Um, and, and I know it sounds harsh saying that. I mean, I mean mainstream masculines, um, perfumes that the, the mainstream tries to push towards men. Some of you may have seen that over on the blog on purselays.com on Wednesday, I posted a, re a written review, a prose review of the new Brioni scent, the new Brioni Eau de Parfum, composed by Michel Almerac, who, of course, co-composed uh, Dior Fahrenheit. And, and I wrote in that review about how the new Brioni seems to be like a sort of as good a modern version of original Fahrenheit as we can get. But it's a rare example of a mainstream masculine that actually isn't diabolical. Um, and these two are not diabolical, but then they're also not cheap because I was expecting more regular L'Occitane prices and I found out um, that actually they're on the pricey side. So, Carité Corsé. It's making me think now of what I thought when I first smelt it, which is that it's definitely trying to capture the the kind of baked orchard fruit with an inflection of woody iris feel of the original Olivier Polge Dior Homme, um, which is no bad thing. I mean, it, it is in Dior Homme, um, but then neither is Dior Homme, right? <laughs> um, and now this one is definitely much more than just pleasant. It's definitely much more than just a um, cardboard cutout or a cliché. Um, I love the fact... that it presents a very interesting woodiness, and that, that, that sort of iris-woody combo in there... it really is quite compelling. Um, there's, a, there's an ambery base, there is something about it that feels um, naturalistic. You know, again, another thing that we can't stand about so many masculines is that, that overdose of woody ambers that makes everything feel so crass and so synthetic, overly synthetic, I should say. There's none of that in here. It's, the, it, it's a good match with, with the colour of the bottle because it feels quite... Um, sunset-like, but I suppose what it isn't is that it, it doesn't feel um, especially complex, so it doesn't feel as though there are lots and lots of facets in there for you to discover. I'm sort of smelling it and I'm going, yeah, baked apples and iris and ambery, uh, ambery base, but not sort of, you know, horrible Velcro-like ambery woody base. Um, it, it is very, very linear and it presents everything that it's going to present within the first couple of minutes, and then that's kind of it. Um, so in that sense, maybe it isn't especially praiseworthy, but in many other senses it is. I've got a, a bit of a press release for it, because it, it it's always interesting to see um, how the brands present these perfumes, right? So their tagline for these, right, is be raw, be natural, be yourself. I mean, rawness is not exactly what I associate with these. I don't know why they went with that. Character aspects of the modern man can be greatly juxtaposed with one another. Oh, here we go. I haven't pre-read this, okay. Each man embodies a certain duality, an expression of two core elements. It is this duality that renders him unique. <laughs> this could be a good one. His root, the core of his individuality, which is part of his nature, and his environment in which he evolves and which inspires him. Okay. The, oh, here we go. We've actually got some, some characters. The banker, spending his time in the city during the week, who enjoys rock climbing and surfing at weekends. Wow. <laughs> the maths teacher, <laughs> who clocks up mileage running for his local athletics track in the evenings. What, because you wouldn't expect a maths teacher to do that? The gardener, with a vested interest in classical car racing. <laughs> okay. While all these individuals are different on the surface, their hobbies and interests have a commonality to them. The fusion of the natural and man-made worlds. Oh yes, I see what you did there. L'Occitane has designed three new fragrances, um, each exploring the unique man. A fusion of the natural and the man-made. 
weirdly enough, it's kind of these sorts of this sort of language that I was using when I was writing about um, Fahrenheit in the Brioni review. Utilising patented extraction technology, what for these men, right? A first in the world of fragrances. Ooh, be careful when you say things like that. We have captured the unexpected olfactory properties of original raw materials. Not possible to capture using traditional extraction processes in the art of fragrance making. Okay. Thus, the trio of fragrances are truly unique. And the process has enabled us to capture three new and adventurous scents. Centenary olive fields after the rain, driftwood rocked by the windy gusts and salt of the Mediterranean Sea, and roasted shea almond at, at twilight. Fine. And then here we've got the perfumers. Grandson of the L'Occitane, Rose Jasmine and Verbena producer, Mathieu Nardin's creative approach always begins with an ingredient. Fine. And the other perfumer is Serge Majurier, the son of a perfumer who became a pure artist who creates according to his desire from natural figurative themes to purely abstract creations. OK, so the one that I've sprayed, the Carité, it says here is a unique duality illustrated by our new captured scent of roasted shea almond. Yeah, but I was getting more roasted fruits, actually, combined with the spicy note of natural clary sage rooted and sourced in France and the warm note of Mediterranean orris. Personified by a sensual and non-conformist man who challenges the status quo and creates his own disruptive story, woody and warm yet at one with nature. Woody and warm yet at one with nature, because you can't be woody and warm and at one with nature. Of course, I'm wondering, is this the maths teacher or the banker? <laughs> This fragrance pays tribute to our heritage in Burkina Faso, where our shea is harvested. And it's £69 for 75 mils, which, OK, is not, you know, a Frederick Mal £200 job, but it's not that cheap either. Um, but anyway, jokes aside, these two, the green one, let's, let's say the green one and the brown one, are worth your while. The Olivier Ondé reminded me a little bit of uh, Terre d'Hermès. It was very much a sort of Terre d'Hermès wannabe. Um, but... As far as these sorts of scents go, as far as mainstream masculines go, and you don't get much more mainstream than L'Occitane, they're, they're, they're fine. You could do a lot, lot worse than these three. And what comments have we got just at the end here? Um, who writes these people are saying, oh my god, these descriptions are too much. Where's the hot artist, says Nubianet. Well, no, they're, they're already in tune with their naturalness, right? Um, Roasted at twilight, pourquoi, says Eric. I don't know. Um... So I think I think we will leave it at at that for, for, for these ones. But if you happen to be passing by a L'Occitane branch, and if they're not closing, because according to some of the comments that you guys were leaving, some of them are closing, then then you you know check these out. The 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 the, the bois flotte, I think, I think you can give a miss. But we will now hopefully have YouTube doing what doing whatever it needs to do with the upload of this broadcast, and I will be back with some more, and hopefully there will be no technical glitches. I'm really worried now. I'm thinking maybe I should just call it a day and quit while I'm ahead. See you soon. Take care.